prestigious national award this award is conferred to shri maneksha and the title of the award is best employee in the state bank of india the government of india ministry of social justice and empowerment the department of empowerment of person with disabilities has announced the name of the national award 2020 national award is endowed to a sbi employee for his meritorious banking service and yeoman's philanthropic activities as well this national award is unprecedented and the first time ever in the records of sbi maneksha fondly expresses his attitude of gratitude to every kind soul who has resorted to shower blessings he is humbled and indebted to all for their overwhelming support since my earliest school days i have been interested in serving the society because being a person with multiple disabilities i am benefiting from a warm caring supporting and inspirational society around me which has provided me with a sound education and opportunities for personal growth my friend and a fellow colleague in the way of yoga of shiddha vidya sri manaksha dandapani i know him for the past 20 years hey you manaksha be a superhuman yes you are born with that perfect intelligence be a man kavir manishi paribuhu saswadipya samapya with my love nyanananda shiva maneksha used to say that it is the good people around him who have been guiding motivating and supporting him to accomplish all the so called achievements for which he happens to be a mere tool alone indeed i was a child who was a dement and cantankerous disposition with self pity and without self confidence my father mother sister and brother were the pillars of my strength who were accepting me as a whole and molded me to be a person useful to the society maneksha also used to tell that without those helping hands he is supposed to be nowhere now and it is essentially his turn to give back to the society giving back to the society yes this strong sense of responsibility has stayed with maneksha into his adult life and now find himself realizing the importance of such ideas and principles his aim therefore is to develop this approach to life and to share it with others through everything he does my jayjandik bank kind colleagues and ever supporting controllers are magnanimously allowing me to mac errors and learn from it my bank is feeding my entire family enakku shoru podrade enga vangi da adu enakku enga aatha maadhiri kuru utra aatha ve avlo shuruva marandra mudiyumla shri maniksha is a dynamic officer of sbi a national youth awardee is the founder of amiable aid an institution for welfare of persons with physical and intellectual challenge a physically and visually challenged person he might be but his indomitable spirit of social service has won him accolades some of the areas of his social work are he adopted tsunami hit parentless children and supported their adoption in the families who lost their children by imparting vocational training to physically challenged persons and arranging microfinance for their entrepreneurial efforts he has brought light into the dark lives of many in the tsunami ravaged nagapatnam he coordinated the task of planting 254464 saplings in 24 hours by 300 persons a guinness world record let us put our hands together to invite our own gem shri manik shah where every individual
individual has an identity of their own. A person who has added yet another feather to the SBI cap is a visionary and a man of strong willpower, Mr. Manak Shah Tandabani. He is from Tiruvaru Town Branch. Certificate honoring him with bountiful trees. In terms of work, this means motivating and encouraging others by his own positive example, that is, doing best in everything. He hopes to inspire a creative and positive way of dealing with various problems that are part of everyone's life. The title of this award is Best Employee in SBA. I do live up to the expectation in congruence with the letter and spirit of the award title. Manek Shah fondly mentions that, with the helping hands and support of his friends alone, he successfully completed his bachelor's degree in engineering discipline. Basically, he is a BE civil and transportation engineering graduate, studied at Institute of Road and Transport Technology, E-Road, affiliated to Bharadiyar University, Coimbatore. The IRTT had become Government College of Engineering, E-Road. I was excellently supported by my schoolmates and college friends who were all supported me and still helping me in all my endeavors. Behind every successful person, there is a catalyst and motivator. A highly spirited soul who has brought Maneksha to the public life is his mentor. In the year 2000, his mentor was the district collector of Nagapatinam. His mentor was the one who has given him access liberally to the collectorate to supply computers. His acquaintance and proximity enabled Maneksha to gain opportunity to closely move along with the revenue department staffs and subordinate officers. His mentor had given an opportunity to involve Maneksha in the projects such as para sailing adventure and also in the mentor's first phase of tree plantation program. The mentor was the one who supported Maneksha to take up the role as convener of an international exhibition, namely Grand Expo 2K3. The image of his close proximity to the district collector gave Maneksha an opportunity to associate with all big wigs and ministers. With all those connections, Maneksha started utilizing their relationship in rolling out his social activities. Because of the mentor's proximity, he got opportunity to get closer to then sub-collector of Nagapatinam, Dr. Umanath IAS, whose association rendered Maneksha a role in establishing dedicated work during the tsunami days. Presently, Dr. P. Umanath IAS is the secretary to the chief minister, government of Tamil Nadu. Obviously, because of being stamped as close to collector, Maneksha moved freely with the collector's successors, Mr. V. Rashan Mogamoni, IAS, Dr. J. Radhakrishnan, IAS, and Tenkasi Jawaha, IAS, whose acquaintances enabled him spreading the tentacles in social activities. Above all, the district collector gifted him an opportunity to coordinate the Guinness World Record event in memorial of as many victims of the South Asian tsunami. 2,54,464 saplings were planted within 24 hours by 300 people in the year 2005, thereby Guinness World Record achieved. Let me tell you something about myself a little bit, which you may not find on Google. I was posted in 2001 as district collector of Nagapatnam. Nagapatnam, as you can see on the map, is one of the most backward districts in Tamil Nadu, in India, tail end of Kaveri River. 
you keep hearing about all kinds of disputes between Tamil Nadu and Karnataka on Kaveri. So, tail end of Kaveri river, as a result, only if there is any water left, it reaches there. 2002 was the year of fourth successive droughts in Nagapatnam. One day, finally frustrated, I said, no, we need to do something different. We mobilized like-minded citizens, like-minded farmer leaders, and decided that let's do a mega tree plantation. Something more scientific, which might bring rains. By 25th November, by the time we were able to identify a contiguous piece of land where we could target to break the previous existing world record, so a 50 hectare of land we could identify, finish the attempt with a new Guinness record, almost doubling the previous record, we had planted 80,000 to 44 saplings in 23 hours. We had no saplings left after 23 hours. And so we ended up doing this. This is what you can see the thousands of villagers and farmers from all over the district who had gathered there celebrating. Does it call for celebrations? Have we achieved what we had targeted? Yes, we have surpassed the previous record by almost double. But what was the main objective? Did the rain gods get happy? The district of Nagapatnam, the entire stretch, had 76 millimeter of rainfall on 6th of December. This not only saved the 40,000 saplings, it also saved a 1,000 crore worth of paddy crop, which was standing on 1 lakh hectare of land. Do you see any connection, any scientific uh, evidence? What about my physics background? What were the lessons learned? Faith can move mountains. And I had to believe that, yes, Faith can move mountains. Is world record a high enough target to set for yourself? You had seen us underperforming. Two years later, Asian tsunami struck the coast of Bay of Bengal. In the entire country, Tamil Nadu was the worst affected. Nagapatnam was the worst of the worst affected districts. This plantation which we did for invoking rain gods became a tsunami barrier. This was the only village which completely survived. The belt of cashewina trees which were now two years old, 12 feet high, were able to bear the entire brunt of tsunami and save the village. While we visited the village again after tsunami with some of my college alumni, they demanded that, can you come and plant trees on the remaining stretch of coast which is lying barren. We promised that we'll do our best. Somehow or the other, we'll come back and plant trees. With this, we went ahead, decided that yes, let's try and surpass our own plantation record. This time we thought we'll do a better planning, a better performance. So, targeted one lakh. Raised a nursery for one and a half lakh saplings on the ground. Three days before the attempt, we were told that can we increase the target. We were doing this for tsunami victims in memory of tsunami victims. Worldwide, there were a total of 1.74 lakh tsunami victims. So can we, instead of 1 lakh, can we target for 1.74 lakh? We said, let's go ahead and do it. The same team of 300 farm workers started the exercise. We had by that time moved another 50,000 saplings on the ground, so 2 lakh saplings were available. And in 16 hours, 1.74 was crossed. We again knew that we are going to run short of saplings. 
moved whatever more we can frantically and finished the entire event once again with one hour to spare with 2 lakh 54,464 saplings planted by a team of 300 persons in the given time of 24 hours even though we had nevertheless at the time of appointment while sbi required maniksha to submit reference letter from reputed person the mentor generously issued the character certificate and reference letter to sbi whenever maniksha has been praised for philanthropic activities he never resisted the temptation of fondly remembering his mentor the mentor who has brought maniksha into social service is shri sudeep jain ias who is the deputy election commissioner of india new delhi maniksha i am indeed delighted that you have again been selected for a national award the passion the energy that you displayed ever since i was district collector at nagapatnam during 2001 to 2003 whether it was while organizing parasailing camps for the disadvantaged kids or during the collaboration for tree plantation which took nagapatnam into guinness book of world records twice your zest for life and enthusiasm had been absolutely contagious the selfless work that you did during the traumatic tsunami and the subsequent rehabilitation phase had been absolutely inspiring all your achievements time and again proved that your mental strength could never let your physical disability ever come in the way of your dreams you are not just an inspiration for differently abled you are actually an inspiration for everyone i wish you the best in your dreams to make this earth a better place thank you my mentor is a towering personality in my life who has been guiding me everything about public life i can proudly state that my mentor who sowed seeds to my ever expanding social activities i owe him dearly so i do de- de- dedicate this national award to my mentor sri sudeep jain ias various in the initial phase of tsunami rehabilitation the team spearheaded by maniksha retrieved buried and cremated thousands of corpses in a stretch of 20 kilometers within a span of 9 days in association with anand marg universal relief team kolkata in the initial phase of tsunami maniksha's team imparted medical treatment and counsel dejected victims with the help of the medical crew arranged by shri ramachandran the principal periyar maniammai college of technology for women tanjavur aiming for recovery to normalcy maniksha distributed essential household commodities to the people who lost everything in the tsunami water with the support of shri murli menon impact of hope international this is murli menon president of impact international our tsunami response has been effective primarily because of our friend maniksha he was our boots on the ground maniksha's passionate and timely leadership identified beneficiaries who were genuine hence we were able to distribute school bags bicycles tricycles you know household appliances fans and all kinds of things including build houses for many people during tsunami maniksha was passionate and his love for people is very contagious so we wish maniksha all the very best in all his future endeavors During the consolidated phase of tsunami people feared to enter into sea for fishing Maniksha counseled encouraged and supported the fisher folks by supplying boats necessary nets and accessories to get into the sea for fishing with the support of Shri Erwin Selg GFT Groups Germany the 50 people in 10 boats ventured into the sea This crew was the first one who made it possible to kickstart their fishing business and it was the first time right after the tsunami 2004 disaster 
those social activities has brought maneksha the national youth award from the golden hands of his excellency the president of india dr apj abdul kalam in the year 2007 Maneksha adopted 16 children who lost their parents to tsunami waves and 24 elderly ladies widowed by tsunami. They imparted vocational training for the physically challenged persons and also established a care home for intellectually challenged children and adults. Those service activities were rolled out with the generous support of Sri Mitsuo Ito Asian Community Trust Japan. A blend of organic and cosmic substances gives enriched medicinal value to any natural living being. Our human body doesn't have the power to destroy itself. Its self-healing power gets enhanced when we include smidgen of cosmic substance along with organic herbs, vegetables and fruits in our daily food. Milir Kanagam offers products whose main task is to conspire with body to arouse health protecting and self-healing mutinies. against anti immuno innuendos resulting to boost the vitality and physiological balance of our body in the tamil siddha medicine the body is seen as a garden if the leaves are wilting or turning brown you examine the condition of the soil see if the plant is getting enough water and sun or probe if the roots are being impinged upon you don't just paint the leaves green yada lohe तदा देहे एस इन मेटल सो इन द बॉडी द रिगर ऑफ इट्स मेथड एंड द रिमार्केबल ब्रेथ ऑफ द बोटैनिकल मिनरलॉजिकल केमिकल जियोग्राफिकल रिलीजियस एंड टेक्निकल नॉलेज इट मोबालाइजेस इन द परस्यूट ऑफ इट्स एंबिशियस एंड्स टैपिंग दिस एंशिएंट विजडम मिलिर कनगम हैज बीन प्रोड्यूस्ड Kanagam stands for a social cause. It is the development wing of Amiable Aid Foundation, which is a secular, non-governmental, non-profit making, non-political, non-sectarian social organization which is committed to guide, help, direct, coordinate, strengthen and reshape new dawn of opportunities for the persons with intellectual challenge. Amiable Aid's specialized resource centers are striving for the social, economic, educational and cultural integration of the disabled persons in the wider society. Maneksha is the founder and CEO of Amiable Aid. With his defatigable spirit, he remains the moving force to lead his social institution to a service of excellence. We start on the path out of your personal desire to have a better life to get out of suffering and to experience more happiness to achieve this we practice meditation and other spiritual disciplines as a result we enjoy greater peace of mind and greater fulfillment however at a certain point if we don't go beyond self interest of seeking our own happiness and grow into an awareness of the need to serve others our development usually stagnates and stalls 
it's impossible to enjoy our happiness and remain indifferent to suffering in the world self service is an ancient tradition practiced for thousands of years we can be of service in many ways just offering a smile to those we encountered in life is a form of selfless giving a very useful word we speak can be a form of service in turn we are giving our energy helping people in need places us in correct relationship with the world and to creator we end up benefiting the most from the service we perform it works by getting us out of our ego and by freeing us from focusing on our selfish interest divine law is give and you shall receive the service can never be forced the service comes from an open heart it's an expression of generosity respect and love of creator and for our fellow human beings all the best things that have come to us in this lifetime have undoubtedly undoubtedly been the result of service to others the more service we did the less selfish we became and as a result happier we became because when we perform service it connects us with the divine love there is a flow of energy that occurs by opening our heart in service to the world the love that motivates others life flows through us purifies us empowers us and protects us this is why service cannot be forced it has to come from an open heart full of love gratitude and respect self plus giving is the greatest secret of life true service can never be a means to strengthening our ego if we are doing service with the motivation to demonstrate how great we are it's not really a service self plus giving is service it develops humility not an inflated ego no form of service is better than any other in our life we might have performed many types of service from extremely menial tasks to very glamorous projects no matter how important the service may be it's important to stay humble and to re- realize that someone else could be doing the same job if you are asked by someone to be of service in a way that seems important and if we boast of that service we have lost the correct attitude to thank the creator for the opportunity to, to be of service and then attempt to do whatever is required to the best of our ability free of attachment or pride is the right attitude the creator gives unconditional love and assistance all the time in fact to be given the opportunity to do any type of service is a blessing selfless giving is indeed the greatest secret of life on social context the priority social pursuit taken up by amiable aid foundation is for the disabled sector the most ordinary of aspirations to enter school work in the fields go out to worship get married the prosaic ingredients of even the most humble person's workday life cycle are denied to them despite profound and consistent denial of their human rights an estimated 50 million men women and children with disabilities have remained on the outer periphery of both public policy and social action in india they are most frequently victims of extreme social prejudice and ostracism even as they struggle to achieve their potential of a fulfilled dignified and useful life and people with disabilities or invisible in political agendas in human rights struggles in development strategies and in social science research nothing's been done to improve the existential experience of women and girls with disabilities who live with disabilities in the countryside 
graver are the social attitudes of shame and ridicule beginning often with the family which further immobilize the people with disabilities also a sense of isolation and pervasive low self esteem are widely amongst people with disabilities they felt humiliated by their sense of dependency for even simplest acts of daily living like bathing eating and attending nature's call the situation is even more tenuous for old persons with disabilities who lack younger caregivers it is in this context that amiable aid was set up to master an effort on scientific lines to organize activities for the welfare of the persons with physical and intellectual challenge impoverished in weaker section of the society with emphasis on rural backward and remote areas hailing from a traditional family background whose hereditary profession has been the preparation of siddha medicine and astrological prediction practices maniksha has been researching the medicinal notes written on ancient palm leaf manuscripts at the very end we have had ancient tamil books and palm leaf manuscripts to a count of more than 30000 numbers we have been digitizing those books and manuscripts and cogently assembled in a virtual library in the name of hyper library with the compilation of those notes Maneksha has simultaneously been pursuing the practical way of preparation of medicines through proper decryption of their contents in those manuscripts. With that compilation coupled with his findings, he submitted those materials in terms of theses and dissertations arranging sequentially to send Mother Teresa University. Recognizing research works of Maneksha The university has conferred the doctorate in naturopathy and alternative Indian medicines. Repair of age related molecular and cellular damage be achieved by rejuvenation therapy which is technically feasible and by its nature indefinitely extensible to great the spans without recourse to further conceptual breakthroughs. This is how the nangavaram tokonam center for rejuvenation therapy has started there are 4000 pores on the bottom of our feet when we apply herbal thylam oils to the bottom of the feet it hits our blood stream in 30 seconds and goes into each cell in 20 minutes the thylam can pass through the lipid membrane of the cell because it is made of oil antibiotics can't do that herbal thylam oils can the shift in our scientific views changes the way we see ourselves the cosmos and our place in the universe it is through alignment with the unified field that we open access to our vast potential as individuals and as species these concepts have paved a way for genesis of cosmos planetarium a brain child of maneksha we probe the science behind the connected universe its roots its current application and its vast potential understanding the scientific principles of connectedness we can have a profound effect on our everyday lives and on the world around us in the light of this concept we have been establishing a cosmos planetarium maneksha used to specify three factors which have pushed forward him into the spiritual arena before coming to bank service i was simply roaming around the place called Mashishta Gufa, Rishikesh, wherein thereof I was taught meditation and inculcate value of love by my ascetic guru Maha Kalga, who is a nomadic and highly spiritual and a striking event which showed me glimpse of truth is South Asian Tsunami 2004. Also I have been dealing with children and adults with intellectual challenge for the past 20 years these events are shaping me to learn the real outlook of life with the wisdom and experience i gained i authored two books the title of the books are separate with the one and separate with the two 
whose meaning in english is conjuring tricks conjurers often say there is nothing new in magic by this they mean that all possible thousands of conjuring tricks are based on a small number of basic magical ideas these ideas these basic principles of magics as they called are surprisingly very few but from them all new tricks are created by sticking to the basic and by finding answers to riddles from our joys and sorrows out of our manifestations and reflections we can find the meaning of life this is the core concept of those books looking for a deeper meaning trying to find patterns in everything eager to answer life's riddles is the curiosity and hunger for knowledge by coming up with solutions to problems there are a lot of little questions that every person needs to answer throughout his or her life in order to find the unique brand of self sipped with the book will come closer to finding answers to deeper issues learning how to apply any of this knowledge in real life will be the true challenge nevertheless if then you do not make yourself equal to god you cannot apprehend god for like is known by like leap clear of all that is corporeal and make yourself grown to a like expands with a greatness which is beyond all measure then you will apprehend god when making books the read mode is never far from our eyes reading book is the best practice but not environment friendly when reading books the nature suffers no harm but the pulp getting from trees for preparing papers will imbalance the environment through the project samaram every converted seppada vidyay book counts for a tree we plant a tree for every single seppada vidyay book we sell seppada vidyay supports to plant plenty trees in the name of samaram the aim is to sustain ecological succession ecological succession is the gradual process by which the ecosystems change and develop over time as the plant communities change so will the associated microorganism fungus animal and human species succession involves the whole community not just the plants change in the plant species present in an area is one of the driving forces behind changes in animal species this is because each plant species will have associated species which feed on it the presence of these herbivore species will then dictate which particular carnivores are present the structure or architecture of the plant communities will also influence the animal species which can live in the micro habitats provided by the plants the species living in a particular place gradually change over time as does the physical and chemical environment within that area it is the motto of the project samaru it was a proud moment on the eve of the 64th bank day celebration the state bank of india honored maneksha with two beautiful trees are the trees of farmers harda madhya pradesh india trees of farmers is a social program of state bank of india as a matter of fact there is always a reason for everything that happens our experiences are designed to shape us define us and hopefully grow us into the mightiest stone possible my experiences had forged together to give me an ability to have real eyes to realize the real lies the boundless opportunities opened by recognizing the shift of the focus is beyond measure nevertheless the drama of life is an imaginal activity in which we bring to pass by our moods rather than by our physical acts moods so ably guide all towards that which they affirm they may be said to create circumstances of life and dictate events the mood of the wish fulfilled is the high tide which lifts us easily off the bar of the sense where we usually lie stranded if we are aware of the mode and know the secret we may announce that 
all that our mood affects will come to pass in the concluding note maniksha has thanked everyone for their kind supports and helps maniksha said that the blessings are count on up to his heart's content breathe you are going to be okay breathe and remember that you have been in this place before you have been in this uncomfortable anxious and scared and you have survived you can survive this too these feelings cannot break you they are painful and debilitating but you can sit with them and eventually they will pass maybe not immediately but sometime soon they are going to fail and when they do you will look back at this moment and laugh for having doubted your resilience i know it feels unbearable right now but keep breathing again and again keep breathing this will pass i promise it will pass